Hello world, I'm Maya Sendermeyer and I would like to welcome you to the latest episode of my vlog series. So far I have been able to share my own experiences on what it's like for me to live with Asperger's syndrome. A second thing that I will do is give my two cents on what's going on with autism in the media. A third area entails providing tips and advice for those of you who are on the spectrum. I will also reach out to your friends, family members, peers, mentors, educators, employers, and anybody that is inside the autism community. But before I dive into uh, today's topic, what I would like to do is uh, mention two things. So number one, please be sure to uh, check out my written blogs on wordpress.com. These are scholarly and practical application type blogs that relate to the autism community. And I also will uh, put a uh, video up here called Do What You Can't by Casey Neistat. Now this is not autism related. This is a video about uh, doing, about uh, breaking all the rules and uh, not listening to anybody else. And this is all about YouTube bloggers, but I thought you guys might like that uh, due to the themes. So anyway, I wanted to share with you a uh, bit of information that's going on. So those of you that are joining for the first time and those of you that, uh, that watch me on a regular basis, I have really good news. So first and foremost, uh, I have been going to school off and on at uh, Georgia State University for the last uh, seven years and I transferred my credits there in 2010 after uh, getting a degree in psychology and um, I had been trying since 2012 to get back because uh, I ended up losing another job which was at a warehouse where I worked for about eight years and that was helping to, uh, that was helping me pay for school. And then when that job ended, I just uh, didn't have the funds to go back. And then I didn't even bother to uh, look for any scholarships. And the other third factor is that uh, people kept uh, telling me that, are you sure you wanna go back to school? Uh, the economy is really bad right now. A lot of people are uh, graduating and they can't get jobs and because they don't, they don't have any skills. It's better for you to learn on your own. And being who I was though, I just decided, hey, I'm not listening to that. I'm gonna find every way to get back. So, I mean, I work at Georgia State University part-time and they do offer uh, to uh, pay for uh, your tuition, but that's only if you are a uh, full-time staff member and not a part-time staff and I have to look for other alternatives to that. So um, I'm really, really excited. Uh, I uh, was supposed to go back last year, but it didn't really work out because uh, I had a great big bill that uh, needed to be paid off. And that was a uh, psychological evaluation that I was telling you guys about. And uh, I tried to start paying that thing off and look for funds for that. And then I didn't get the Pell Grant on time because I put, I put the wrong information in. So I ended up taking another year of school off and I, of course, was devastated because uh, I didn't have my report on time. I didn't have the Pell Grant on time. And so I just kind of decided to take some more time off. But luckily this year, uh, in, I am pretty much starting to pick up where I left off five years ago after I lost my job at that warehouse. And uh, hopefully I'll be able to continue in the spring as well. I, now I'm looking for uh, all kinds of resources where I can apply for scholarships and where I can get uh, Georgia Vocational Rehabilitation to pay uh, some of the fees. I might even try doing some crowdfunding for a few months and share some of my blogs on there. But um, if you like what I'm doing, please be sure to subscribe to my channel. And uh, please also look for new content every Monday. Until next time, I'm Maya Sundermeyer and I'm signing off.